Hello everybody, my name is Tara. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter. I'm a wife, mother of two beautiful girls. I'm a vet doctor. I'm a businesswoman. I sell everything. Everything except human beings. And um, I started singing when I was um, four years old in church. And of course, um, I'm a church girl. I grew up in church and all of that. And then the passion has always been on the inside of me. It was, okay, my mom and dad, they sang in the choir. And also I would always follow them, the choir rehearsals and all of that. And then that's how I got, you know, indoctrinated into music. Um, officially, I started doing music in 2005. Yeah, that's the first time I entered the studio to record a song. I've, I've recorded, should be up to 30 now. Should be up to 30 songs I've recorded. You know, keep going into the studio, doing new things, singing new songs. And as a result of your devotion and everything, you, you know, new songs keep coming up. You know, on and on and on, yeah. I've had challenges um, doing gospel music, but apart from that, I must mention that I also do contemporary music. Why? There was a period in my life I was watching TV and everything, every, every song I saw, most of the songs, you know, I saw in the secular world were full of trash, rubbish. And I thought to myself, what legacy are we leaving for our children and our children's children? One of the days when people wrote pure music, you know, that gave glory to God and then inspired people. And so apart from gospel music, I also started writing contemporary music, you know, clean music, songs that could inspire our younger generation. And something you can even play in a party, you know, or play when you're relaxing, you know, and all of that. So, that drove me to write. And then many a times when I go through challenges, when I go through tough situations, because in all, in all um, sincerity, in all sincerity, the journey is not smooth. You know, you have, there are also cares of this life. You have bills to pay. You have children to take care of. You have the family. Angle. You have maybe if you have a business, you have a business to take care of. You have life's challenges being thrown at you, and then you, you need to stay focused, stay connected to God, stay connected to God. So it's in my times of um, challenges I held on to God, and I was like, God, you know, I write about my situations. I write about who God is to me. I focus on God. That's one of the songs I wrote, "Center of Your Will," right? That was. Um, a period in my life I was reflecting on my achievements, you know, things I had done. I asked myself how old I was, you know. Sometimes I sing the song to myself, how old are you now? How old are you now? Because, you know, reality dawns on you. You, know, you ask yourself, what are the things I've achieved and all of that. But while I was meditating on all those things, I just said to myself, at the end of the day, you will appear before God. You will give an account of your life. Were you in the center of God's will? What were the things that truly mattered when you lived your life on earth? What were the things you were chasing after? Yes, we need money. Yes, we need, you know, all of these things that make life easy. But what's the essence of life? Are you living your life to God's glory? Are you in the center of God's will? You know, that's what inspired the song and I started writing and writing. It's one of the songs I'm going to do today, you know, actually. been married for let's say make, this year I'll make it 10 years you know and when when I forgot first got married yeah um, baby did not come <laughs> for like three years you know and then you know when then we're in the east okay we're in a part of the country let me not even name part of the country so um, people will be looking at your stomach in my mind they were looking at my stomach so anywhere I went, I was very conscious of myself and how people would just be checking to see 
whether there was any baby yet and all of that. And I was under undue pressure. Yes, it may say three years was not a huge amount of time and all of that. There are people that have waited 10, 20 years. But, you know, in those three years, I found out that, man, people are going through lots of pressure and all of that. I had to shift my focus. It was the moment I decided to serve, you know, to follow, to be in the center of God's will, to follow God's will for my life, just serve in his house and forget about all these other things. So it was basically the scripture, seek ye first is the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing will be added unto you, you know, and it was in the process of my service that, um, you know, one of the days, Mom Sarah, I don't know if you know Mom Sarah, in the global world, but Mom Sarah was preaching and I was in the choir, she stopped and said, by this time next year, you're going to be carrying your baby to the altar. I was in the choir, I, I stopped thinking about baby or anything. But she just stopped in the middle of her sermon and just said, by this time next year, you are going to have a baby. You're going to carry your baby to this altar. That date was um, November, um, I think it was 23rd or something. My due date was November 7th. So you see, God's word is true. God knows you. God knows your name. He knows your story. He cares about you. And there are times that I've given up. I'm like, what's the essence of all these things? So let me just, from nowhere, people that have not called me like in two, three years, will just call me and say, God asked me to call you now to encourage, or encourage you, tell you that um, you should keep keeping on, you know, stay in the center of his will, keep doing his will and all of that. So God knows you. He knows your name. Stay in the center of his will. Stay connected to God. He's your source. He's your sustainer. He's your everything. He loves you and he cares about you. Okay, apart from music, I also run a business, Star House of Elegance. I, I sell everything. I sell a whole lot of things. And I also make liquid soup. I like creating things. And I, um, I have like 13 different flavors of changing. I just like doing different things, creating things. I'm a veterinary doctor too, a vet doctor. And that's my profession. And uh, I also mentioned I'm a mother of two beautiful girls. And that one is an occupation on its own. <laughs> when you have kids, uh, you have to think about the home front, think about ministry, create a balance in your life and all of that. So, yeah, those are the things I do. My wife, beautiful wife. I say let your focus. Generally, my my message would be let your focus be on God. Let your focus be on God. He's bigger, 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 bigger than everything you see. Bigger than your situations. Bigger than your problems. Bigger than your bills. Bigger than you know school fees that are coming up. Bigger than your school. Bigger than everything, generally. Focus on God. The more you focus on God, the, the smaller your problems become. That's true. We won't have a challenge-free life. There will always be challenges. But let your focus be on God. Don't shift. God knows you. He loves you. He will meet you at the point of your need. Yes.